What's going on guys, my name is Finitex, welcome to a tutorial on how to remove the outlines for your Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battles. The quality on them is absolutely amazing. If you guys did not see it, what it looks like so far, go ahead and check out the description. There is a link to the Wi-Fi battle that I had up recently and it shows you the quality of the Sun and Moon. So all you need to do is go ahead and download the things in the description. There will be links and tags along so you guys can follow along. I wanted to make a quick and simple easy because that's basically all it is. It doesn't take that too much effort to go ahead and do this, but just make sure you know that how to homebrew should I say make sure your 3ds is homebrewed so technically yes it is hacked if you guys don't know how to do it I'll put a link down below in the description uh, you can find to a homebrewing tutorial by my good friend the Mikey J he made an amazing uh, tutorial on this and it was so simple to follow along that's all I did basically to do this so make sure to go ahead and check that out too so if you guys are interested in this tutorial give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and jump right into Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you have Citra downloaded. The first thing that I did was created a folder for Citra. It doesn't really take too long depending on your internet speed for the download. And then you're going to go ahead and once you download it is you're going to go into this folder that says EMU Show 2212. The best thing that I can think to do here is just extract it right to um, this folder here. So make a brand new folder for Citra and go ahead and drag this and extract it straight into here. So now, now you have Citra. Citra is basically a 3DS emulator and you can go ahead and change the settings and stuff like that in Citra to make it really good quality. The one that you're going to be wanting to use is Citra QT because this actually loads up the emulator. Now best thing to do is to go into configure straight away and as you can see I want you guys to go ahead and just use the same settings that what I have. Take a print screen of it, pause the video, go ahead and do this once you've downloaded it and go ahead and set these same graphics as mine because then you're going to get the best quality in it. So when you've got that downloaded you don't need to worry about it too much inside it. So go ahead and download that and then you should be good. Also make another folder for moon because you're going to want to go ahead and drag this moon folder to your desktop and have it here in a separate folder just so you can drag and drop inside of Citra. It makes things a lot easier. Now bear in mind Moon does take a little while to download so you're looking at a 1.3 gigabyte download so it could usually take around like 20 minutes depending on your internet speed yet again. For me it took around 15 minutes um, so I had to just like diddle around uh, for just a little while. It didn't take too long but once you've got to go ahead and download that it should be all set to go. Okay the final thing that you want to do is download HXD. This allows us to change around the coding inside of the game so if you guys can see this where I go open I can open Pokemon Moon and this is going to bring the whole coding for the game so what we need to do basically is change something inside of this coding to allow us to remove the outlines on our 3DS Pokemon Moon or Sun game. Now bear in mind guys what you have to think here if you've got your 3DS homebrewed what you have to do is you have to have a cartridge for it to be able to work. Um, you don't really have to be playing the cartridge um, it just this when it goes into the save data I'll show you guys in just a quick second it doesn't actually allow you to do it for some strange reason. I tried figuring if there's any way around it but there really isn't. So I'll go ahead and show you guys a quick example of what I'm talking about. Alright once I here go down to the JK save manager go ahead and hit which kind of game you're playing here. For me, I was playing Pokemon Moon and I did my Wi-Fi battle on Pokemon Moon. Bear in mind you guys have already done your Wi-Fi battle. This is not going to work without your Wi-Fi battle, right? So make sure you play your battle first and then go ahead and bring it back into this. So once you've got ahead to here, go to extra data options and as you can see, it's not letting me do it because I'm on Pokemon Moon which is a digital download for some strange reason. That's what I wanted to show you guys. It wouldn't work. There is no way around that. I tried figuring out maybe someone else knows a way but I really don't so I had to go to my Pokemon Moon but the Pokemon battle is saved to your SD card so you don't have to worry about it at all go to extra data go ahead and export extra data as you can see you have the battle that you guys created it may ask you to make a new folder or anything like that go ahead and click battle and it'll export the data and then you go ahead and put your SD card into the computer and we'll move on to the next step once you're inside the SD card on the computer go ahead and head to JKSV this is going to show you where the battle is been saved to. Go to extra data, go ahead and click Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon, whichever it was, and you'll see the battle folder that you created through Homebrew is now onto your SD card. Go to battle, go to BTV video, and then what you guys are better off doing here, if you want to click this and or either like go to this, 
go to click right and go to pin to start so you guys can access it straight away without having to go through all that bedazzle it just takes you straight to it so you see these two videos here these are the two Wi-Fi battles that I do have onto my 3ds so what we need to do is we need to drag these two videos over onto the Citra so the best way to do it is go ahead and open up Citra here go to MU show 22 and here you want to go to user you want to go to SDMC go to Nintendo 3ds go ahead and click all the zeros all the zeros again then you want to go to ext data click all the zeros again and again go to user and go to btv video then you want to go ahead and drag and drop these videos inside of there then it's going to load them on citra for you okay next up what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and head into hdxd should i say now you want to go ahead and load up moon the, the rom that you've downloaded and now the best thing to do here i'll put this in the description as well is you want to find out where this code is so go ahead and hit Control c to copy it the best way I'm doing this is go to find, go ahead and paste that in and go for hex values because this is what we're going to be changing, the hex values inside the Pokemon run. Alright, since I've already done this, it can't say, it says it can't find because I've already replaced it. But if you guys do, it will bring you up to a place uh, where you need to go ahead and replace it. So, best thing to do then is go ahead and copy this one that's in the description with, and you guys need to just basically paste that over um, where the code is. So, you guys should have the code there before go ahead and copy that new code just over that line that you was already on that was highlighted and it should be good to go go ahead and click save now this may take a little while just because it's got to encode the whole game so it's changing all the hex values inside of the game so bear in mind it may take a little while it does it really relatively fast for me because I've already done this um, so I don't have to worry about that too much at all but for you guys it may take around like 20, 20 seconds 30 seconds or something like that okay once that's done go ahead and head back over to the citra qt and it's pretty much as simple as just going ahead and loading file loading your moon file and now i have to do say thank you to jack that's allowed us to use um his uh, save file basically what you're going to do from here on out now is just go ahead and click a and this is going to remove the outlines now remember this is going to be really really buggy just because it's trying to play the game with no outlines or anything like that but as you can see guys the outlines for the games have been fully removed which is absolutely amazing so go ahead and hit z on your keyboard or z for americans i know we say it a lot different go to battle video once i click a there we go go to battle video and it's going to show you open uh, the one that you exported from your SD card onto here and as you can see I do have the battle that I recently had uh, with Danny and I can go ahead and click A and that's going to allow me to play the battle and you should guys now should see it with all the eye lounge out and your quality should look like that absolutely amazing quality for these Wi-Fi battles I recommend doing this if you guys are interested in uploading videos to YouTube and such like that for Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battles it's one of the best and simplest ways to do this and I think the quality on it looks absolutely amazing and the best way to record this is just straight through OBS so I recommend and that DX Tori will not work with Citra, unfortunately, or the quality would be absolutely amazing. But OBS is just as good. Now, you might find that this recording of it may be a little buggy because it's in Citra. Now, if that's the case, all you need to do is just speed it up a little bit in your editing program. Now, remember, these cannot be recorded as live battles because they're genuinely just being reprocessed through Citra. So make sure you just record the battle and save it, and you guys will just have to post commentate over it. But with all that being said, guys, that is a tutorial on how to get the 1080p looking with no lines and stuff like that for your 3DS Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battles. If you guys did enjoy this video and did find it pretty simple to follow along, give it a thumbs up. It is super greatly appreciated. My name is Infinitax, and I would love to know if you guys have any questions or anything like that. Leave them in the comment section, and I'll try my best to get back to you. With all that being said, guys, make sure you subscribe if it helped, and I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.